Uh, came here, did, you know, dishwashing in the beginning. And uh, what do you do for a living, if you don't mind me asking? You, would you believe me if I tell you? What up, everyone? Today we're going to be talking to immigrants, Lamborghini owners, and we're going to be asking them what they do for a living. Me llamo Fabián, eh, tengo 48 años y soy contratista. ¿Me puedes este, compartir dónde eres? Originalmente soy de Guadalajara y este, aquí ya tengo 25 años en, en Concord, California. ¿Y qué carro trajiste el día de hoy? Es un uh, uh, Huracán Evo Lamborghini. ¿El sueño americano crees que todavía está vivo? Sí, claro que sí. sí. Aquí hay oportunidad para todos. Seas ilegal, seas legal, lo que tú quieras. Aquí hay chance de todo, sabiendo tú que quieres hacer las cosas. Sí. Pero se puede, todo se puede. No hay, no hay obstáculos. Sí. Había antes, ahorita ya no. Ya no ahorita no. se puede hacer. Somos iguales todos. Entonces, este, no más cuestión de... De aferrarse al sueño que quieres y no te rindas. Cuando uno viene a este país, ¿verdad? Este, uno quiere pues, buscar oportunidades, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que hiciste tú primero o qué hábitos tú, tú creaste para poder Mira, tener el éxito que tienes? Soy de las personas que yo trabajé en muchas cosas, muchas cosas. Entonces yo duraba un año en un trabajo, seis meses o lo que sea, y veía qué, qué más sería en, en, ese oportunidad, en ese trabajo. Entonces, si no veía oportunidad, no veía futuro, me salía y buscaba otro trabajo y siempre estaba investigando qué hasta dónde podía llegar y no veía oportunidades me salía entonces llegué a trabajar en una compañía que se llama Dolan's Lumber en Concord es como un home depot venden madera y todo eso entonces me empecé a relacionar con la gente empecé a aprender lo que es la construcción entonces ahí en esa compañía duré cinco años entonces eh, ahí ya no hay más más dinero hasta ahí llegas hasta un cierto sueldo entonces a mí me gusta siempre llegar pasar pasar el límite entonces me, me metí a la construcción ¿verdad? Entonces empecé a trabajar carpintero, empecé así, así, así y, y siempre me gusta ver qué más, qué más, qué más sigue. Entonces fue cuando ya empecé a hacer mi, mi examen para la licencia, la saqué y pues mira los resultados. No, sí, está ¿verdad? chingón. La verdad yeah. que es una inspiración para todos los latinos. Que sí, están no, no se puede, sí. Porque pues no miramos muchos latinos con los carros aquí parqueados, supercarros, sí. ¿verdad? Yeah. Y la verdad que sí, es sí, chingón. Sí, hay, sí hay gente, sí hay sí. gente, pero uh, es muy raro que veas raro. latinos y hay mucha crítica también de que porque tú traes un carro, sí. eh, críticas de las otras personas, ¿no? Yeah. Hey, seas quien sea, tú puedes tener lo que tú quieras, sí. nomás es cuestión de echarle ganas y no rendirte, es nomás eso, no rendirte yeah. para nada. Uh, y aquí tienen los tatuajes, dijiste? Sí, mira, aquí está sí, el que Donkey el... Pop, que quiere Donkey decir no te, no te rajes, el Work For It, que quiere decir si quieres algo lo tienes que conseguir, mm. trabajar por él. Y el otro tatu es de Impossible, que es imposible, pero una, una, una crash que es posible. Yeah. Si te dicen no se puede, sí se puede. Sí, sí, claro. Siempre hay forma, te va a tardar, pero sí lo vas a encontrar. Sí. De que sí se puede, sí, sí se puede. Sí, sí, para. Ah, sí muchas se gracias, puede. Eh. la verdad te lo agradezco sí, mucho por no inspirarnos nada. a todos los chiquillos de aquí. Era. Lo que yo pueda, sí, o sea, yeah. tengo muchos amigos que pues sí les he inspirado también a los que me trabajan conmigo, son mis hermanos, mis amigos, y siempre les digo, aprendan, aprendan, yo los enseño, yo síganles, lo que yo puedo enseñarles, aprovechen, porque eso es lo que les van a dar mejor vida a sus familias. Sí. Entre más sabes, más vas a ganar y te vas a hacer más, más dependiente. Y entonces tienes la oportunidad de trabajar por tu cuenta. Sí se puede. Sí, yeah. sí se puede. Sí Échenle sí sí ganas a todos ahí. Dale, muchas Dale, gracias. De eh. nada. Naji, Naji Haddad. My age is 57. Uh, I own a bakery. What car did you bring in today? Oh, I brought this yellow Lamborghini Technica 2023. And for someone that wants to be able to afford one of these cars, what advice do you have for them? Honesty, you know, you start your life, your career with honesty. And this is the basic in order to succeed in any business or any adventure you have in life. And then working hard 
uh, is a great thing, but working hard alone is not the only thing. Mm, you have to work hard and smart because everybody can work hard and they end up being where they at. When you work hard and smart, this is the way to uh, benefit from your intelligence, to, uh, to make your life better. And at the same time, you're still working hard, okay. but because you're working hard and smart, you're just elevating the game in your life. So that could be more income, could be a better position in, in uh, your career, whatever your career is. And uh, uh, things don't happen overnight. You know, obviously there's a long, long commitment in whatever you're doing uh, in order to achieve achieve your goals. So uh, uh, a lot of people think that uh, getting there, it's an easy task and it ca could happen overnight. Okay. Only lottery winners, right. you know, yeah. that's how, how their life changed very quickly. Yeah. Uh, life, it, it's... Uh, uh, it's, it's way more than that, yeah. So, you know, when you succeed in what you're doing and then you already establish a family, you, you have your house, you have whatever you, your dreams are in your, you know, in your life, that's when you start to enjoy what you really like. You know, happens to, I enjoy cars and this is yeah. one of, you know, many cars that I have yeah. and I enjoy and I continue yeah. to enjoy. Awesome. Have you had any like habits that have taken you to be able to be successful? It's not about habits. Okay. Habits, it's you're addicted to something, that's a habit. You, you're, you know, you just do something, you know, regularly, that's a habit. But again, you know, key, key to success is determination and consistent and being smart in what you're doing and always have a game plan you know your plan it's like uh, where am I gonna be in the next 10 years or five years uh, how do I start you know and then you follow that path yeah. without changing the principles of your life you know honesty as I said earlier and then working smart yeah. and hard yeah. yeah. And uh, did you come from a different country? If you don't mind me asking. I'm from Lebanon. From Lebanon. I came and, uh, from Lebanon. For people that come from other countries, like, this what did you do to, you yeah. know, to be able to be successful? This is the land of opportunity. You know, I came here, and uh, even though I'm an architect, as you know, in my education then was from Lebanon, but I never done architecture as, you know, as a way of living. Uh, came here, did you know, dishwashing in the beginning. That's a very humble beginning, you know, and and I just came to. The land of dreams you know for many foreigners who come yeah. to this country to find a better life and I'm happen to be one of them yeah so I was a dishwasher I was a restaurant worker and then uh, a, a taxi driver for some time yeah. and then you know things changed to the better when I started my my business and yeah. uh, and everything I you know was able to uh, achieve was based on the facts that I mentioned earlier. Yeah. And do you think okay. that the American dream is still alive? Absolutely. Yeah. It's still alive and very, very well. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, the dream is alive actually everywhere. It's not only in America. But here we have it alive and well uh, because we have, you know, it, it's. It, it, it's the land of the laws, the land of freedom, the land of free speech, you know, so many things. And at the same time, the land of opportunities. So uh, it all makes the American dream as the largest dream you can ever have anywhere. My name? Yeah. I forgot my name, but <laughs> no. <laughs> well, Mel Gaddy. Mel Gaddy. And yeah. um, what cars did you bring today? I bought the uh, 488 and the uh, uh, Aventador 50th anniversary. And um, what do you do for a living, if you don't mind me asking? You would you believe me if I tell you? Uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm a poop scooper. Oh, what is that? <laughs> when you fart, stay away. Uh -huh. When you take a shit, I'm your man. Oh, okay, perfect. I'm a plumber. Plumber? Really? Yes. And uh, how long you been doing it for? 27 years. 27 years. And for someone that wants to own one of these cars, what advice do you have for them? My advice is work hard. I'm sorry, but you don't have to have an education. No? But stay in school. Okay. Study, study hard. I never graduated high school. No, uh, I have no education, but I work my ass off to have what I got right now. Meaning, it's not, I'm not successful, I'm not rich, I'm blessed. 
And uh, where are you originally from? Philippines. Philippines. And for, some, and for someone that comes from like other countries, how did you do it to like, or how did you start in the first of all? How did you start? Because obviously you didn't start with these cars. Well, right? I started with the, my very first car in the United States is a VW Bug, Volkswagen, yeah. which till, day, till this day is my favorite. I don't care how, if it looks like junk, it's a VW Bug is my favorite. Really? You still own it? I don't own it. I yeah. wish I, I had. Uh -huh. I still have it, but I sold mine. But uh, I st you have to start from somewhere. It's kind of like a uh, find a needle from the haystack. Right, right. You have to start from somewhere okay. before you go up. Yeah. But when you try to go up to where you, we at, it's not easy. Yeah. It doesn't take overnight. Yeah. It takes years. Yeah. So people see me what I have now, they think in in one day it will drop everything. No. Yeah. You go. You gotta go somewhere like a uh, hard hardship. You go down, you go back up, you go back down, you go back up. Yeah. Just stop. You don't you don't quit until you hit your goal. Right. Don't so stop. when you hit your goal, mm -hmm. you stay there, be humble, help out, mm -hmm. and don't be stuck up. That's all I gotta yeah. say. Family? My wife, okay. Anna, my Samantha, that's their cars. Oh, that's their oh, cars? That's their car. So she drove that one, you drove this one? Or yeah. How? So yeah. we always uh, we always ride together really? every time mm -hmm. this show. Really? So yeah. it's about family, like bringing family Always family, together. always family. Always family. Yes. That's amazing, This man. is Samantha G. Really? <laughs> oh, that's, all right. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. It.